Hello everyone, I am Venkat Tesan, a undergrad student from Velour Institute of Technology, pursuing computer science and engineering with specialization in artificial intelligence and machine learning. Today I am here to explain about my project, Deribit Trading System. Deribit Trading System is a high performance order execution and management system that operates through command line interface. It is a backend system which uses WebSocket client server model to connect with the Deribit uh, testnet server using the uh, client that is the CLI interface to manage trading portfolios and advanced functionalities. Uh, the feature of this uh, project is uh, WebSocket communication and uh, API authorization and replicating the command line interface and the backend for uh, communicating with uh, Deribit testnet. Uh, the tech stack used in this project is C++. The entire project is built with C++ alone as you can see in this uh, GitHub repository and I have used CMake to build the project and the WebSocket PP is used for that WebSocket server client model. JSON library is used to pass the JSON object which will be receiving in the request response and I have used a read line to uh, mimic or imitate the command line interface and the pre-request that is the system requirements for, for this project is uh, uh, C++ or a GCC compiler and CMake to build the project and boost library and open SSL. You will be needing Git as well uh, if you want to close this repository. Uh, for quick demonstration purpose, you can open this repository and on Git pod. By that, uh, it will itself configure because of this uh, YAML file which I have configured. So this YAML files uh, will install all the dependency in your Git pod uh, instance and build the project and it, it will itself uh, open the in command and interface for demonstration purpose uh, and to show that it is cross compatible with the different system i'm gonna clone this project in my system i have already cloned this project in my system and have built it so to run this i'm gonna get into the build directory and run the script that is terabit trader so this is how the cli will look like to show the commands which are available uh, in the CLI, uh, you can uh, type man or help. Uh, this uh, this will print all the available commands for you to perform various actions. Uh, in the general commands, we first you will try to connect to the Deribit testnet. You can also uh, this system is uh, independent of that, which is uh, it is not hard coded to connect only to the testnet of Deribit. You can also connect to various other things. Uh, you have to uh, for that you have to use the connect and you have to provide the URI to which you want to connect. Here I'm not uh, connecting to any other. Then uh, I'm going to connect with Deribit testnet only. The command for that is uh, Deribit connect. This will connect to the Deribit uh, server and give you the connection ID. The connection ID correlates to the uh, your client ID. Uh, this implement allows you to run multiple clients on your system. By this you can run multiple clients and connect to a single server in a, from a single uh, system. Uh, here we have successfully connected to the Deribit testnet. Uh, to show the configuration of the connection you can use the command show and the connection ID. Here we have connected to the testnet and the connection was successful and the server is ngx server and the number of message processed is zero as we didn't send any uh, messages till now and uh, the reason for closure closure is null as we didn't close the connection you can close the connection as close and you can pass the connection id here one this will close the connection uh, we will connect to the server again now we, we have uh, received the connection id as one yeah uh, let me show my system as well i am running this on my ubuntu system so given that constraint uh, let me again run that interface so let me connect to the server again there bit connect we have successfully connected and our connection id was one and our connection was successful and uh, let's try to authorize with the client id and secret id uh, if you want to perform any action on your Deribit or testnet. First, you have to sign up in the Deribit testnet and get the client and secret ID. 
from your APA section and from your account and I have actually uh, copy pasted my client ID and secret ID I am just uh, used to going to use this command so the command for uh, that will be derivative the connection ID 0 in our case authorize client ID uh, client secret and dash s this uh, dash s flag refers to saving the access token in our environment variables if you didn't uh, pass this dash f flag that is uh, dash save flag uh, this won't save your access token in your local environment if you wish to do so you have to pass, pass the access token every time if you want to perform any action uh, for demonstration i'm going to save my access token in our uh, environment variable so my authorization was successful and uh, this is my access token and have saved this access token in my uh, local environment so let me go into other commands let me place an order uh, in our derivative testnet so the command for that is derivative id i'm gonna buy instrument that is uh, i'm gonna buy uh, a, a bitcoin in instrument the command for that is buy btc perpetual I can also pass a label for this uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna pass the label as uh, last by for today so it is prompting me to select either contracts or amount I'm selecting contract and passing the number of contracts x10 and uh, there are various order option which I can use to place this order uh, for this demonstration i am placing it on limit and uh, other uh, available time in force option for limit order are good till cancel uh, good till day i'm gonna and other things i'm gonna place it on good till day and it is prompting me to ask uh, for the price uh, this won't be prompted if you specify the amount so i'm gonna specify that as thousand dollars so i have received uh, the json object that is we have successfully placed our order uh, i'm gonna place another order but on sell option and i'm gonna change that instrument as ethereum one and i'm not passing any label for this one so again it will prompt me for uh, selecting the options i'm gonna select amount for this one and specify the amount as thousand dollars and i'm gonna place this on the market and uh, good till cancelled yeah we have successfully placed that order as well so uh, to get the orders we can uh, get the open orders from our account the command for that is derivative zero that is the id and get open orders this will fetch all the our open orders we have opened two orders so far that is btc and ethereum uh, to modify a particular order you can use the command as derivative id modify and we have to pass the order id uh, uh, here i'm going to modify the ethereum's configuration the order id for that is this one i'm going to copy that and pass it here so it is prompting us to enter the new price i'm going to uh, say the new price as 800 dollars and the new amount as thousand uh, it is uh, showing error as uh, price is too low uh, let me change that uh, increase the price four thousand dollars the amount is thousand dollars yeah we have successfully modified the amount to be thousand dollars and the price to be four thousand uh, dollars you can uh, you can also check in open orders as well get open orders the changes are reflected in uh, here as well uh, to cancel a specific order uh, you can use the command uh, derivative id cancel again you have to pa pass the I uh, order id i'm gonna uh, copy order id and pass it here and uh, i have uh, received a response and the order state has been changed to cancelled the order was successfully cancelled you can uh, uh, check the open order thing and you can see that only one order is available that is the bitcoin is available the other thing was cancelled let me uh, 
purchase uh, ethereum again to show that we can cancel multiple orders at a time i'm going to specify contracts and i'm going to say 10 contracts i'm going to place this on uh, market and go to cancel yeah we have placed the order successful uh, we can get the open orders here we have two orders we can cancel both the order at a stage by their bit id cancel all this will cancel all the orders yeah we have uh, received uh, the response if i op uh, get the open orders i won't receive any orders because i don't have any orders so so far we have discussed uh, the management stuff uh, next you will uh, uh, see the uh, information re retrieval commands to retrieve the position of a currency you can use uh, deribit uh, zero the connection id position and i'm gonna uh, get the ethereum one eth its positions yeah this is the information uh, about the market that is ethereum perpetual and i can also uh, pass the kind as well i'm gonna pass uh, btc and future you can also pass the future option another parameter the kind of uh, thing which you're gonna get the response for so this will fetch the btc futures uh, information from the derivative test uh, we have seen get open orders and positions next you will see the order book how to fetch the order book for the command for that is derivit id order book and you have to pass the instrument i'm going to pass uh, BT btc perpetual you can optionally specify the depth but uh, if you didn't specify the de depth it defaults to the depth of 10 this fetches uh, all uh, the depth up to 10 and you can also specify the uh, depth in your order book uh, command if i'm gonna say five this will fetch five order books so we have seen order book as well next uh, let me show show you the general commands which are available in our cli we have seen help quit connect and close as well close will terminate the uh, connection and show will show the connection information you can use show messages and pass the id uh, this will uh, show the overall uh, communication which has happened in our instance the client server communication what message we have sent and what response we have received so uh, we can track the the communication which which have happened we can also uh, pass the custom message if you uh, don't want to use specific commands for that we can, uh, the command is uh, sent and the connection id i can i can send for example i can send this particular uh, json object in the send option and uh, sorry yeah so by this i can send a particular json or object and get the response and another general command is use a uh, subscription and stream, uh, stream subscription if i uh, type uh, view subscription as we haven't uh, subscribed to any symbols you will get error as uh, you didn't subscribe to any symbol i can the stream subscription uh, will also show the same error because we haven't subscribed to anything yet so let us subscribe to any symbol to stream real time data uh, the command for that is the ribbit connection id subscribe let me subscribe to btc first btc usd so the sub uh, subscription was successful i can uh, view the stream using the view stream command yeah this shows the uh, live uh, price from the market that is uh, real time data fetched from the deribit api you can see the fluctuation of price and the timestamp which the information was retrieved and the index as bitcoin usd so if you want to print the subscription that is the subscription we have subscribed so far the command for that is view subscriptions uh, let us subscribe to another uh, token as well symbol as well sorry a uh, derivative zero and i'm going to subscribe to eth usd 
so it was conf confirmed i can view that both are subscribed so if i try to stream that i will get both the btc and uh, ethereum stream and get the data real time yeah let me quit that stream okay so uh, i can also uns uns uh, unsubscribe to a particular coin let me unsubscribe to bitcoin the command for that is there uh, a bit zero unsubscribe eth usd so we have uh, unsubscribe to eth usd if i try to uns unsubscribe uh, to a coin which is not we have already subscribed it will show error for example i'm gonna uns unsubscribe to say uh, a coin which is not available in the internet for example i'm gonna say bth usd which is incorrect it will show an error that uh, it is not in uh, that is not the correct index or we have not subscribed to it so in our uh, subscription we have only one subscription and uh, to cancel all this subscription you can use uh, cancel all for that uh, let me add another subscription i'm going to subscribe to eth again so i'm going to use eth uh, v subscription i can see two subscriptions uh, this will again stream the same thing simultaneously yeah okay let me unsubscribe the command for that is terabit zero and subscribe underscore all this will unsubscribe to all the subscription we have used yeah we have sub unsubscribe to all the symbols i can uh, see that as in the view subscription we haven't subscribed to anything and uh, stream will also output the same so we have uh, seen all the commands for performance analysis and latency report uh, we can actually see the latency report as we have performed various operations till now all the things are logged and recorded in the latency report if i use the latency report i can see the uh, overall mint marking latency uh, for the order placement we have sent so far seven messages the mean uh, time taken was 70 microsecond and various other parameters the 50 percentile 90th percentile 99 percentile the same goes for market data processing that is uh, getting the market data information retrieval and websocket message propagation this corresponds to all the messages that we have sent so far uh, that took around 4500 microsecond and uh, market data processing was uh, 58 microsecond this was our uh, latency report you can also clear the latency report by reset latency sorry re reset report this will clear the report so if i try to print the report i won't uh, receive any report this was the demonstration of uh, the project